Looking at Jalen Ramsey uh, potentially being on your you guys' radar, what is it about him that kind of intrigued you and, and made you pay attention to him? Sure. Um, you know, without going into a whole lot of detail, but um, you know, he's a, he's a versatile player that plays, you know, either either side of corner, nickel, safety, do a lot of different things, and he's a great athlete and uh, you know, good person, good worker. So um, he's pretty easy to identify as being one of the you know, top players this year. The option's still there. Like I said, um, you know, his, the phones are pretty active up until Wednesday, and then once that trade was made, it's really slowed down. But you know, we still be open to. It. We have six days to go, and. We feel like we're in a, in a, a very good spot. And obviously, there's going to be a great player there for us to take. Um, if there's a trade there that makes sense for us, we can move back and acquire some picks either this year or next year or both. Um, that would be a great option, too. So we'll kind of see how it plays out. Um, you know, we still have a week to go, so we'll see, see where it goes. Tom, how polished is Tunsil? Can you talk about him? How polished is he? Uh, not too bad. Um, I think almost all college linemen coming out, they're going to take some time to develop. Uh, technique, which is nothing new. Uh, he's such a rare athlete, you can get away with things at the college level, and a lot of skilled position players can do the same thing. They may be faster and more athletic than their competition, and a lot of times these players are so talented, you know, high school, college, are able to rely on their athletic ability much more than technique, and then they get to this level where everybody they're facing is so much better, there is more technique. So, um, you know, he's got some development to do, but, you know, no more than any other lineman probably in this draft, and probably other, some other position groups as well. Is DeForest Buckner a prototype defensive end in a three that could be of great value? Yeah, yeah, he plays end in a 3-4, and then he can, he can pass rush inside and uh, has all the measurables you look for in that position. The great thing about him is he really, I think, could go to play either way. Um, you know, I guess that's why he's going to be one of the top players, because he really could play corner or safety. I uh, probably wouldn't have a... Um, just, just get him out there. I tell the Pags, just get him out there and play him. I think that's probably, even as his career goes on, he, he's probably going to play a lot of spots for, for, for whoever he's with, with, whether it's us or somebody else, whether it's corner or safety. Um, he's got the skills to do both. Excluding uh, Miles' medical situation, how tough an, a, of an evaluation is he just because of finding a specific position for him, I guess? He's, he's unique. He is. Um, but that's, that's what scouting is all about. you got to try and... Uh, look at the traits of the player, look at his ability, and, and fit him into what you do. And um, yeah, He's so unique because of playing you know, inside and outside linebacker, playing some nickel corner, slide out, or out as a corner, back at safety, you know, returning kicks. I always say we could probably put him back to returning kicks. I mean, he was a great running back his freshman year, um, so it was all pretty good traits to have, especially with roster flexibility.